Hey Vex, I'm Jessica and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Every time you buy a 20 ounce streak at the Viking Brew, you can enter your name and guess for the bucket of candy. Winner will be announced on October 31st. Freshman, if you are staying for ASAP and need transportation, you must sign up in the office no later than 1.15 on Tuesday or Thursday. If you are over 16 and need a fishing license, the fishing club will reimburse your costs. Check Schoology for what you need to do. We have a new story segment called Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Okay, welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Hey, this is the game Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? The first. Hey! <laughs> First question is, the Earth is at least how many years old? Six billion. 200 days. Like two billion? <laughs> I don't know. Too old, basically. Probably like three billion. Four billion. It's four billion. Yes! You got it right. right. True or false, an orca is a type of dolphin. Uh... True, I don't know. It's, like a, it's true, right? Yeah. Dolphin. False. False. Mm, false. I'm gonna go with true. It's a whale. It's true. It's a dolphin. No, it's an orca whale. <laughs> <laughs> what planet would you weigh the most on? Mm, Earth. <laughs> like Mars. Depends on the day on Earth. <laughs> Mercury. Mercury. Earth. It's Jupiter. Oh. Apparently. What country consumes the most chocolate? Um, Italy. I don't know. China. Uh, consumes? Yes. Germany. France. China. I'd say mm -hmm. country, United States. Like, we got that lock on M&Ms, you know? It is Switzerland. You are no. both wrong. Which country has the freshest water? Uh, North America. Mm, I have no idea. Ooh, Africa. Africa is not a country. <laughs> uh, country? Yes. South America. Africa. Okay, South America is a continent. Yeah, it's a continent, uh -huh. and I went off of you. <laughs> Those were some pretty funny answers. Send a boogram to a friend or a special someone. They will be sold all this week. ACT prep classes have been rescheduled for October 25th and, and November 1st. Register online by October 18th. Students, the Haunted Trail is this Friday from 4 to 6 p.m. will be the Kids Trail and 7 to 10 p.m. will be the Scary Trail. Make sure to check it out. Before your sports announcements, we have a story about fall sports. With many fall sports seasons starting to come to an end, let's go see how a few of the teams have been doing so far. Let's go find out how football has been doing so far in their season. Uh, so far, we're three and one with a big game with Manhattan tonight. So, you know, I think the you know the, the future is bright for our guys. The Hayden game was, was a big game for us, and then playing you know Junction City and coming back on them, you know, to make a run at the end was, was very big for our guys. I, I'd expect our guys to compete. I mean, right now we're we're playing with a lot of confidence. And if, if they can maintain that confidence, if we can stay healthy, I think we have a chance to make a little run in the playoffs. Looks like our football team has been doing good so far. Let's go check out how our volleyball team's been doing. We are 21-3 and three right now, heading into the last few weeks of play, and we get to host sub-state, so that is a pretty exciting thing for us. 
one of the biggest things that has happened so far is that we took second at our home tournament, um, losing in the third set just by two in extra points to Lansing. And we beat Washburn Rural this past week to win the league. Um, and then we just finished beating Shawnee Heights in a duel last night. Our goal is to play more consistent. We haven't been the most consistent team lately. And so our goal is to just push each other, push ourselves to get better each day and make it to state and hopefully um, go pretty far in state, maybe win the whole thing. Our volleyball team has been doing good with a record of 21-3. and three. Next, let's go see how the cross-country team has been doing. So ultimately, we've had four meets. Um, We've, we've competed really well um, so far. We've gone up some, against some really good competition. Actually, last Saturday, we won our first team individual championship, which was pretty exciting at the Shawnee Heights meet. Um, we host our first meet this weekend, and then we've got, th after this weekend, we have our what we call our championship part of our season, which is our city league, regionals, and state. So at this point in time, um, uh, the season's been going really well, and we're excited for what's about to happen in the future here. We finished in the top half of almost every meet that we've been to, um, with and maybe even better than that. From the sounds of that, they've been working really hard this season. Now let's go take a look at how the boys' soccer has been doing. We're currently six, four, and one. Um, we've had a good season so far. We're continually growing and getting better. Um, we've had some ups and downs, but we've we've kept getting better, which is the important part as we move towards the end of our season. We had a good outing against a tough Manhattan team. Uh, we ended up tying one-to-one -one with them, um, which they're always competitive, always hard for us. And then most recently, we went two-and-one this last week. Uh, and we had a really good showing against a good Blue Valley Northwest team. Coming through the last five games here, uh, we have Emporia next week, and then we follow that with Washburn Rule. Um, so we have three league games left, and if we're able to win all three, uh, we'll win the league, which would be huge for us. Um, and I, I see the boys doing it with the work they put in and continually getting better. So hopefully we were able to finish that off. Looks like they've all been doing well in their season so far. Make sure to go and try to support them during their games and meets. Thank you to those who participated in those activities. Congratulations to the boys cross country team who placed third at the Topeka City Championship and to the girls cross country team who placed second at the City Cross Country Championship. Congratulations to Bethany Drews who broke a 21 year Seaman High School record by running her 5K race in a time of 19 minutes and 8.3 seconds. She is now the fastest cross country runner in the history of Seaman High School. Make sure to congratulate her on her accomplishment. Now over to Zoe for our weather update. Good afternoon, Vikings. We did have a cold front move through last night, making our wind speeds in the 50s and 60s, and this also caused a major dust cloud to be moving through Kansas. Now the dust is completely settled as of right now because our winds have calmed down completely, but I'm sure many of you have noticed our temperatures have dropped about 10 degrees from what they were last week. As you can see, this is another example of how much our temperatures have dropped. You can see our temperatures are only in the 70s today instead of the 80s and 90s area like it was last week. For your SBTV 7 day forecast, our highest day temperature to this week will be on Wednesday with our temperatures reaching up into the 80s once again before our temperatures drop completely down into the 60s and we will be staying in the 60s and 50s area for these next upcoming weeks. Now back to your anchor. Thanks Zoe. We asked teachers opinions about how they would feel about going back full time. Many students and teachers have opinions on what decisions and precautions are taking place at the high school level. So face-to-face, -face, as it's being talked about, is, you know, we have Group A, and then maybe kids could come back Group B if both they and their parents agree and maybe apply for it, uh, if, the vote, if the vote at the board meeting allows for that to happen. And so it would be four days a week with still remaining the Wednesday for students to get caught up with all their studies. And so um, I think that that is a good approach because it allows for parents and students to choose uh, what learning model really works better for them. I talked to a few teachers to see their thoughts and opinions on the board meeting and decisions that might be made. I'm coming back full time, that's like what I want. 
obviously, um, but I don't necessarily feel safe and I don't feel like our students are safe um, if we're coming back full time with everybody in the school 100% of the time because there's no way to distance six feet or even three feet with everybody in the building at once. I would love it. I would love it. Um, it's very, very difficult to teach math online. It's very difficult to learn math online. And um, so it's, it's really a challenge to make everybody be engaged um, when they're not in the classroom. So when I'm working with the ones in the classroom, they're great. The ones online, they're just off in space. So it's very difficult. Um, so I would love to have everybody back. For the rest of the story, check YouTube or the Seaman News site. That's all for today, Bikes. Have a great rest of your day.